you still worry meeting Fukuda as your rival? Do we have to swallow our pride and letting him to storm our dignity? Time for us to take the revenge. Yeah boy, gaming here. Good day guys. Wasting no time, let's start. I will try to include every scoring smooth of Fukuda. Begin with the first point flutter. Revise the basic first. The blocking point is when Fukuda jump, then you jump. Positioning can be around him. But do you discover sometimes our blocking timing is correct but still unable to block his flutter? Normally, this will happen when we are facing him directly. Most likely, his rebounder will face this kind of situation. The onboard defender who is following him beside or behind him will not have this problem. The major cause is the distancing. Fukuda can always lead us to misposition. If the rebounder want to block his first prime footer correctly, maintaining a correct distance is crucial. At least maintaining one character size between you and Fukuda. This is only applicable to face-to-face -to -face situation. General footer aka second point is very easy to block. The blocking duration is long enough for us to react. So long seeing his hand is scooping up then block. Positioning is around him. Next is driving footer. For this move, I will encourage to count one two step then block. Same positioning as normal footer. It depends on the character. Like Oda does not have any blocking talents, counting 1-2 step is the best. For Jun and Hanakata, they can treat it like normal version. So adjust the timing according to the character we are using. But never go wrong by counting 1-2 step for driving footer. Next is pump fake and dunk. Actually blocking this is super easy. If the onboard defender is knowing what they are doing, blocking timing is when he is ascending in the air then block. Positioning can be around the basket and around him. Both will be fine. Fuguda can only have 2 scoring moves after pump fake. Since the blocking timing of pump fake footer is earlier than pump fake Dunk. If our team rebounder has no blocking talent like Takasako, Oda, or Longhair Sakuragi, they will always try to block Fukuda's blocker earlier. The onboard defender must assist them to block this pump fake and dunk. Since Fukuda will not have second point or pass, not just fully rely on our rebounder. Next is double cut in dunk. The blocking timing and position are the same. But this move, rebounder must take care of it. Onboard defender will have other tasks to do. The speed of this move is insanely fast. If the onboard defender is daydreaming, Two things, block his diving path, second, block his diving shot. So long Fukuda move is stuck, he cannot combo his move anymore. And also providing sufficient time for rebounder to get in correct blocking position. This is super important. We also can raise our hand to enlarge our defense zone. Next is dive in shot. This is the second task of the onboard defender. After Fukuda did his first diving in move, he have to step back one to two steps. Then shout, hey His side will be fine not really have to stand in front of Fukuda. However, if you can't block the shot from beside, it could be a wide open. Next is turnaround shot and drifting shot. Both blocking timing and position are the same. Jump as per Fukuda jump, so incur some guessing game. It could be a pump fake. Positioning must be at least half of the feint shape. Can treat this as a fade away shot. This is an example that I was not standing at least half of the fence shape zone and no speeding up skill is used. So Hasegawa blocking range is not becoming huge. Next is Ali Whoop Dunk. Fukuda will always move to the left before the dunk. This is also straightforward. Positioning is around the basket. The moment he catches the ball, hey then he will sit down. Everyone should help out. The real blocking point is when he is reaching the peak. However, this move is super fast. So when we saw him catches the ball, actually in a split second, he already reached his vertical pick. Last is his ulti. After the blue lightning effect animation is fully ended, then send him down. Leave him no room to score. I almost forgotten around footer. Old footage has been reused. Positioning is around him. Timing is after seeing him jump. If all the defenders have the correct concept, stopping him is not a nightmare. When the onboard defender is falling down, the other has to cover him. Fukuda's control stat is quite good. Wishing you guys having a good time while defending Fukuda after this video. If you love the content smash, the like button and share it to your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for your support i will be back